MetaMask is one of the most popular cryptocurrency wallets because it is easy to use, integrates very well with decentralized applications, and best of all can save you some money on the insanely high Ethereum gas fees through its in-app exchange feature. Hey everyone and welcome. This is Robert with Altcoin Buzz and today I'm going to be giving you an in-depth overview and tutorial of the MetaMask cryptocurrency wallet. So let's start off by talking a little bit about what MetaMask is, what it does, and then we'll go through all the steps needed to download, install, and set up your MetaMask so that you can get right on into accessing decentralized applications web 3.0. So first off, what is MetaMask? MetaMask is a web 3.0 compatible Ethereum based wallet. Now what this means is that this wallet will store any kind of Ethereum based tokens. It will support ERC20 tokens. So USDC, DAI, Ethereum, basic attention token. These are all going to be covered by MetaMask. It's also going to offer support for various collectibles. Now the reason that so many people like MetaMask is because it's incredibly easy to use and it acts as a extension wallet that you can use right in your browser to log into sites such as compound to log into other decentralized applications so i'm going to show you how to do all of that in the video the first thing that we obviously need to do is download and install the wallet now metamask originally was created as a browser-based wallet so that's kind of the default platform. There is a way to install it on your phone, which I will show you in a little bit. But for now, we're going to install MetaMask on Brave and it's going to take us to the Chrome store. We're simply going to click add to Brave and add the extension. All right, it pops up and it says that MetaMask has been added to Brave and it automatically gives us a little pop-up window here with the option to get started. Now we have two options. If we have a seed phrase, which I do, I could restore my wallet. However, for the purposes of purposes of this video, we're going to pretend that we do not have a wallet. We're going to want to create a wallet and it gives us some important information here um, that, that you should read. But I'm going to create a password. Now there's an important distinction I want to make. A password allows you to get into this wallet on this computer. So every time I log into MetaMask on this specific computer, I will use this password. Now, if I lose this computer and I try to log into a different computer, this password will not work. So the password only protects, well, it only allows you to access the funds on one specific device. And I'll get into a way where you can access your funds on multiple devices in a minute. But for now, let's just create a password. And we're just going to create something easy. And I'm just making this a really easy password. In reality, you would want to use a pretty strong password. So the password protects your funds on this computer. Now, remember when I said if this computer is destroyed or lost, your password won't help you. What will help you is your secret words. Now, this is sometimes called a seed phrase. So I don't know if it's showing you this on screen because sometimes it blocks it out, but you should never ever show anyone your seed phrase. You should write it down on a piece of paper, such as this old envelope, put it somewhere safe because this is the way that you're going to recover your funds. So if my computer was to get destroyed and I had my seed phrase, I could go to an Android phone. I could go to a Mac computer. I could go to a Windows computer, a Linux computer, download and install MetaMask and be able to recover my funds. However, the flip side of that is that anyone who has your seed phrase can also recover and use your funds. So it's important to have, but it's important to not let it fall into the wrong hands as well. So I will write this down and then we will get right back to the video. All right, so now that we have written down these words, we're going to click next and it's going to ask us to verify these. Again, I don't know if you'll be able to see this on your screen, but basically it's asking me to enter the words in the order that they gave them. And this is just a check to make sure that I did indeed write the words down because it is it is critically important that you do this because a lot of people will not do this and when I first got started in cryptocurrency I did not write my seed phrase down my cell phone got destroyed in a rainstorm while I was riding my motorcycle and I lost fifty dollars worth of basic attention token which is not huge um, but it definitely was a loss that I felt bad about for a couple days so make sure that you write all of these down we're just going to finish this up and then we will go on to creating our wallet. Okay, so we've entered all of our seed phrases. We're going to click continue. It says, congrats, we've done it properly. Now we are going to click all done. So what we have here is token swapping. Token swapping is a relatively new feature on MetaMask that allows you to trade tokens directly within your wallet. So for now, we don't need to worry about that. We just kind of need to start with the basics. Now, 
Normally, when you have MetaMask, I have it as a browser extension. So to add MetaMask as your browser extension, you're just going to go up here to this little puzzle piece. And where it says MetaMask, you're just going to click this pin icon so that now whenever you log into a website, MetaMask is going to be there waiting for you. So you click on MetaMask and it shows us our account basically obviously we have zero funds we have nothing so if we're wanting to get started in cryptocurrency we're either going to need to receive some cryptocurrency or we are going to need to buy some cryptocurrency and metamask is great for beginners because it offers us both of those options the first option is for us to buy cryptocurrency and you can see that we can buy it with wire so let's just suppose we're going to continue doing that we can buy it directly with a credit card now obviously this is a video i am not going to enter my credit card information on screen but the cool thing is that you can buy crypto and have it directly sent to your metamask you don't have to go through a third-party exchange you can do everything directly in your wallet which is really nice now another way obviously of getting cryptocurrency is to receive cryptocurrency so Remember that MetaMask is compliant for ERC-20 tokens. So in order to do that, we will need to receive an ERC-20 token. So that's Ethereum, Basic Attention Token, DAI, USDC. Do not, I say again, do not try to send Bitcoin or Monero to this address because it will not work. You need to be dealing with an ERC-20. Um, for beginners, consider it ERC-20. Yes, it does support 721s and NFTs, but as a beginner, you want to be getting any token on the Ethereum blockchain. So this is our public key. All we have to do is copy this account. So let's suppose we have someone in a different country that's wanting to pay us for writing an essay. All we would have to do is copy that account, send it to them in an email, and then they could send funds to us. That is known as our public key. Now, the other way of doing this is by simply going to these little drop-down menu and clicking account details. Now, if someone was standing right beside us and they wanted to scan a QR code, they could simply scan a QR code, send funds to us that way. Now, whenever we get our funds, it's going to receive, it's going to update automatically in our balance here. Now, one thing that unfortunately has happened from time to time and people have raised questions about this, they'll say, hey, I went to Compound Finance and I deposited my USDC, but I never got my CUSD tokens or I never got my CDI tokens. The thing about MetaMask is it does support any Ethereum based token. However, by default, it doesn't automatically show every ERC20 based token. So if you someone says they send you a token and you check on a block explorer and it says that it's been received, but you don't see it, you might have to go down here to add tokens. So you go to add tokens and let's suppose that we are looking for the Uniswap token. We simply select it, we click next, we click add token, and then what we can see is when we go back to our main menu, we are having the ability to see those Uniswap tokens. So if something happens, you don't see a token, more than likely that's the case. So don't freak out, just go by, find the token, and add it to your wallet. Now, once you have funds in your MetaMask wallet, you might want to send them for some reason. You might want to send them to a friend, you might want to pay for something with them, but for whatever reason, if you want to send funds from your MetaMask wallet, this is incredibly easy to do. You simply have to select what asset you want to send so let's suppose that I want to send some of the hydro cryptocurrency now I can simply enter an address by the public key so if my friend emails me their public key or the website has a public key I can simply enter that and what you will see is that when you're doing this you have to select two things you have to select what cryptocurrency you're going to send you have to select what amount you're going to send and then you have to select a transaction fee so obviously we know we're wanting to send hydro we could change that right on the fly if we wanted by simply clicking something else we can select the amount so if i'm sending my friend 10 hydro i can enter 10. if i'm wanting to completely get out of an asset let's suppose that i'm wanting to simply get rid of all my hydro i can simply click max so that's what I'm sending, that's how much I'm sending, and then we get to the issue of a gas fee. So gas is kind of a complicated subject in Ethereum because if you spend too little, your transaction might not go through. If you spend too much, it'll go through really quick, but you might have paid more than you need to pay. So MetaMask makes this easy and it allows you to select from slow, average, or fast. Now, by default, MetaMask is trying to protect you from setting a gas fee that is way too low or way too high. If you are feeling a little bit more adventurous, if you have a little bit more experience, you can select advanced options and you can set your own gas price. Now, how would you know what the gas price is gonna be? Well, you can go to ETH gas station and they will tell you the standard price. And that's kind of the average price for something that wants to go through not super fast, but also not a very high risk of failing the transaction to go through. So 
Let's suppose that we click on the 150. We're going to click Save. And what we see that that's really, that 150 is really about the same as we would have paid anyway if we just selected their slow option. So MetaMask does a lot of the thinking for you. If you select the slow option, you're probably going to be good, um, but it does give you the option to customize it as well. After that, we would click Next. We would confirm the transaction. Now, obviously, I'm not going to do this because I don't need to spend $30 just to send Hydro from myself to myself, but that is the process. That is how it would work. Okay, so there's actually a couple more interesting features that I want to show you with MetaMask that can really make your life a lot easier. The first of those is restoring your seed phrase. So let's suppose for whatever reason you wrote your seed phrase down, you lost the paperwork, you accidentally threw it away, and you need to get that seed phrase back because you always want to have that backup. It's really easy to do this. You simply log into your account, click up here on the colorful circle, and go to settings, scroll down to security and privacy, and click reveal seed phrase, enter the password that you used when you set up your wallet, and it will give you your seed phrase. Now, obviously, I am doing this because this is a test wallet. There is no funds at all whatsoever in this wallet. You would never, ever, under any circumstances, show your seed phrase to anyone, much less post it to the internet because people could take absolutely everything that you have in that wallet. So again, do not do this. It's simply for demonstration. There is no money in this wallet, but you could do that, write your seed phrase down, and then that way you always have a backup. Now, another thing, that's helpful for some people like me is I have a bad habit of leaving my browser opened and MetaMask has the ability to shut down or lock your MetaMask after a certain amount of inactivity even if you leave your browser open. So you simply go to settings, advanced, and then you want to go down here to your auto lock timer in minutes, three minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, whatever you want, you can set it to that. So those are kind of the two features that I use the most. Obviously, there's a lot more features for customization. You can change your languages. You can change your default currency to whatever you want. One more that I think is going to be really helpful for a lot of people is the ability to sync your wallet on your PC or your laptop or your desktop between your wallet and your phone. So to do that, you're going to go to Advanced and you're going to go to Sync with Mobile. Now before we do this, we obviously want to install MetaMask for mobile. So there's a couple ways you can do that. You can go to the Play Store um, if you have Android and simply type in MetaMask and download it that way. If you're concerned, you can go to metamask.io forward slash downloads and it will have a page that directly links you to the, um, the download for your specific platform. So I know this is the right program, so I'm just going to install it directly from the Play Store. It's going to take it a minute to get downloaded and set up everything like that. All right, so MetaMask has downloaded. We're going to click Open. And remember when I said that MetaMask is really intuitive and easy to use for beginners? It's really going to walk us through this process. So if you watch the video and you kind of forget how to do it, once you install MetaMask, it's going to show you all of these steps exactly how to do them. So we're going to click Get Started. And we could create a new wallet. We could import using a seed phrase. But what we want to do is we want to sync with the MetaMask extension. So we're going to click that. And on our PC, we're going to click Sync with Mobile. We're going to enter the password that we use to create the wallet. And we are simply going to scan that with our phone. We're going to need to allow MetaMask to take some pictures. It's going to scan the code. And then what you're going to see is on both the phone and the PC, it's going to say Sync in Progress. So. That's how you do it. It's really convenient if you want to have all your balances between your different accounts synced up. And again, MetaMask makes it really easy. MetaMask started as a web-based wallet. The people demanded a app version and MetaMask answered. So that's just one of the reasons why MetaMask is a great wallet, especially for beginners. All right, so in this part of the video, we're finally going to get to the part that you've all been waiting for about swapping tokens. Now, the first way that I'll show you is to use Uniswap in a decentralized exchange just to show you how easy it is to integrate MetaMask with these decentralized applications. And then in the second part, I'll show you how to use the in-app exchange feature to hopefully save you a little bit on these ridiculously high Ethereum gas fees. Because MetaMask is a browser-based wallet. It's incredibly easy to simply log in, select what token you want to trade from, select what tr token you want to trade to, and carry out a trade. So let's suppose that I want to trade my max amount of Ethereum and that I want to trade that for basic attention token. It's going to be really easy. It's going to pull everything up for me. I simply hit 
the swap and the thing I want to point out is the first time you do this you will actually have to do two separate trading fees so let's suppose that I'm going from bat to ethereum I would actually have to do two separate transactions I would have to unlock my basic attention token and then I would also have to execute the transaction itself so if you want to make it a little bit easier metamask has an interesting feature where you can actually swap directly from with inside your wallet this is known as the swap feature so we simply log into metamask let's back out here so i can show you select swap and then it automatically knows what assets we have in our wallet so let's suppose we want to get rid of ampleforth and let's suppose that we want to trade for ethereum all we have to do is find the asset that we're going from we can type in ETH and it's going to show us the asset that we are going to now when we click advanced options it's going to give us a slippage tolerance slippage represents the amount between what we're expecting to get for our trade and the amount that we actually get for our trade and the reason that this is important is because prices are constantly changing in the cryptocurrency world so this protects you from a huge price swing so we're going to go with two percent we're going to click review swap and what metamask does for us is it checks seven different decentralized exchanges to make sure we're getting the best rate so we don't have to go to seven different places and get a whole bunch of different trades it automatically is going to give us the best deal now one thing that metamask can help you do is it can help you save on gas fees and i know that the gas fees look really ridiculous right now however that's simply because the ethereum network is so congested metamask is actually saving us money because remember we're only having to do that one transaction instead of if we were trading on a centralized exchange we would have to do a send transaction a trade transaction and then a withdrawal transaction so metamask is helping us out here it's getting us the best rate and it's asking us to swap our trade so what we're going to have to do is one last thing here that I want to show you how to do is edit your network fee so right now we are going to we're going to select average and we're going to click save if you wanted to you could add a custom gas fee however I do not recommend doing this because right now the ethereum network is so congested so let metamask help you out let it do the thinking for you it's gonna get you the best price simply swap from within your wallet it says your ETH will be added to your account once this transaction has processed and what we can see if we want we can view the transaction on Etherscan and we can see that this transaction is going to go through the process it's going to go through this trades and we're going to be able to have this real life balance showing the progress of the transaction so again Ethereum is super congested but this swap feature within MetaMask is really designed to give you peace of mind that you're going to get the best rate that your transaction is going to go through so you can see here how many different contracts this went through now again this is something that if we paid for each of these four swaps we would have to be paying gas 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 but because we did this through uniswap or through metamask it automatically included all of that gas for us if we go back to the wallet we can view our eth and we will see that this ethereum has indeed been added to so that's a beginner's overview of metamask metamask is completely packed with features and there is so much more that i could have shown you in this but i tried to keep this short to the point for beginners to cover the most important features that you're going to need so in general i'd like to say thank you for watching the video i hope you found it useful if you have any other topics that you'd like me to cover be sure to leave a comment down below so that i can see it and know what to cover and help you all out so once again thanks for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time